guys, Michael Pitts here. So, I'm in my dad's 92 Dodge Cummins pulling his car hauler trailer. I'm, uh, I'm heading down to Oklahoma to pick up a 1986 Chevy C3500 or the crew cab one ton dually. So, it's got a 454 in it. It currently runs, but I mean, I guess all that's not too important since I'm going to be putting a new engine and transmission in it, but uh, the only thing that sucks is it's uh, two-wheel drive, but you know, whatever. It can be converted to four, so it's not too big a deal, but uh, would have been nice to get a four-wheel drive. Uh, the good news, though, is the body is pretty straight, so it didn't look like it had a lot of uh, deep rust. It, looked, it had some patina, just surface rust and stuff, but this truck's going to be awesome, though, because I'm literally going to have twice the amount of room to lay, I mean, uh, for people to ride. I'm going to be putting this old Dodge Cummins to the test. That uh, crew cab dually is a big truck. And I ain't kidding. But this old 12 valve Cummins shouldn't have any issues. The problem is the uh, old automatic transmissions in these were pretty weak. So. Made a quick tick stop here and uh, somewhere in Oklahoma. Hell, I don't know. But uh, starting to look a little rainy. I hope I don't have to load this truck up in the rain. Uh, didn't show anything on the forecast, but y'all look up there in the sky. It's looking a bit cloudy. So, guess I'm gonna get back on the road though. Finally made it out here to Oklahoma, here with uh, Jake. He's uh, selling me this truck. All right, got the truck loaded up and uh, time to head back to Arkansas. I've uh, finally made it past Oklahoma City. Uh, the Cummins is actually doing a lot better than I initially thought it was. Uh, when I first took off from the guy's house, I was a little concerned. I was having a hard time keeping transmission temperatures down. I don't know, I was just a little concerned. I was on some small two-lane highways. But once I got on the interstate, uh, things started working out a little better. I'm able to run about 65 to 70, so. Not too bad, though, for pulling this massive thing by a bumper pull. I believe trailer and everything, I'm sitting at about 7,500 pounds, which, is the most I've ever towed. Problem is, at this point in the trip, I'm not sure which truck is leaking more oil. The one on the trailer or the one pulling the trailer? Probably the one pulling the trailer. Damn. <laughs>
Y'all want to see the 12 valve? All right, I guess I can show you. Oh, yeah, there she is. I do like it, but there's no way my dad would let me put that in the new truck over there. Plus, I've got a new motor and transmission to put in there, so I'm already committed. All right, so I think I still got about two hours to go, and uh, it's gonna be a slow trip. <laughs>